Hi, my name is William Shen, and I'll be talking about table cleaning through task and motion planning with force control. So what do we need in order to clean a table? Well, firstly, we would like to pick and place objects into given bins. Secondly, we want to be able to wipe particles across the table into a dustpan using a given sponge. And finally, we want to be able to drag objects across the table, an example of non-prehensile manipulation. And all this represents a small but important step towards building a general household robot. We model our problem using task and motion planning and use a simple search then sample based algorithm. We investigate motion planning and force control techniques and assume that perception is solved and that we can sample for stable grasps. Now let's have a look at the low level controllers we implemented. For force control, we implemented an open loop Cartesian impedance controller. This allows our robot to act like a mass spring damper and to exert forces, we can simply define desired set points in the end effector space. To wipe an object across the table, we can define our set points to be underneath the table, such that our controller exerts a force into the table. To drag a green object across the table, we can define our set points underneath the object so that we exert enough force to overcome friction. We also experimented with a hybrid position force controller, but found that it was difficult to tune in comparison to just defining desired set points. In terms of motion planning, we first used inverse kinematics to find a satisfying joint configuration for our desired end effector pose. We then used motion planning to find a collision-free path. We considered sampling-based motion planning algorithms and implemented RRT and bidirectional RRT with goal bias sampling and continuous tree growing given some cost constraints. The key takeaways is that the RRT dance is real and that we needed to make modifications to vanilla RRT. The implementation is also not very straightforward as well. Now let's bring these controllers together using task and motion planning. We use a search event sample temp framework, which consists of high-level symbolic task planning, followed by low-level geometric motion planning. Given a PDDL domain a problem, we feed it to our AI planner, which gives us a high-level plan. Using our interface, we call a motion planner in order to find a low-level satisfying plan. If the plan is successful, then we execute it. Otherwise, we add some additional constraints and feed it back to our AI planner to find a new plan. We define the domain and problem PDDLs for our table cleaning problem, which includes our predicates and actions for pick, place, wipe, and drag. We now demonstrate a successful task plan which our system has reasoned about. We firstly use our Cartesian impedance controller to drag the book across the table. Note that it is blocking the red tomato from being wiped. We then pick and place the green box, which is also blocking objects from being wiped into the red dustpan. After placing the green box, we pick up the sponge and begin wiping. We wipe the orange carrot from the table to the dustpan. After that, we wipe the red tomato from the table to the dustpan. Once we have successfully wiped all the objects, we return the sponge into the bin on the left. Thanks for watching.